What is he doing? Looks like my dog's digging for something. <laughs> Alright guys, I figured I'd give you a little something different to start off the videos with. So, uh... It's been a while since I've done an update video. And I, uh, I didn't watch the last video, so I don't know what the hell is in it. So we'll, uh... I guess we'll just kind of go along as we, uh... Do, uh... Do this video here, so... I, uh, I think the last update I mentioned that this thing, it definitely needs a battery because it loses its charge pretty much overnight. Um, but if I do jump it off of the GT18, it fires right up, no problem. Um, you know what, see if I can get another start out of it. I have a feeling I can. I haven't really let it sit long enough. Out of gear. Not bad. Fired right up. No problem. That was a warm start. I ran it today. Um, I ran them all today. Um, I still haven't fixed the GT18's deck lifting and belt problem. Just because I don't think I'm going to need to yet for this year. And then there's the SS16 way in the back. Um, I'm probably going to take her out. I took her out today, but it won't be long before she'll be staying back there for the winter. And I... Uh, I'm going to yank the battery and probably either put it inside or if I can't afford a battery for this one, I'll just go in this one. So, yeah. Nothing really has changed with the SS. Just been, uh, just been sitting. Walk underneath the engine crane. Just been sitting. I haven't really had the desire really to do anything with these things. Um, this one's kind of useless right now just because, uh, for one, it really isn't up to snuff for being used for anything, and two, it's pretty much the end of the season for what this thing's going to do. This thing will probably get put away after my birthday, so, and this one also. It'll probably be a backup for winter duties if that one, something major goes wrong with that one. This one will go and back up, hopefully. Um, the 216, I haven't touched it since we did all that mowing a couple weekends ago. Um, I haven't even started it. So, maybe we could do a cold start of uh, the 216. Oh yeah, almost forgot. Just to prove that it's a cold start. Hands on the muffler. My hand, not fake. Alright, let's see what happens. Things in neutral. Choke. Throttle. Not bad. Sounds like the PTO is making some noise though, so I'll have to look into that. Maybe next year for next mowing season, but it mows just fine, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Probably could just need to be gapped, so not gonna worry about it. I'm just not going to worry about it. Uh 69. Actually been running really, really good. Um been driving it. Things just been an absolute beast. Got some uh pallets and stuff on the back here and uh plenty of room still just just awesome got fluids to do a tranny, tranny flush and uh got a deeper tranny pan for uh holding of more fluid uh the ranger believe it or not we got the front end rebuilt on on yeah excuse me while i can't talk we got the front end rebuilt on it and uh the alternator has been rebuilt and did a wheel bearing and now it just needs some wire thing and I'll be ready to go. Got the front end aligned yesterday and that thing runs really good. And if any of you guys are wondering, it's a 2003 with the 4 liter V6. It's just an absolute tank. Thing's great. Got the 5 speed automatic transmission, 410 gears, things, things great. 
Still extra power. And no one cares about that. And the excursion. That's the tranny that's going to be going into it. The tranny that's in it right now. I know I've mentioned it before, but I, the tranny that's in it now is uh, is cracked. At the bell housing, I believe. I can't remember. Um, but that thing will start, start right up and drive. Um, transmission internals themselves are actually fine. It's just the case is cracked. So that's what uh, this is for. It's a 4 100 four-speed trans. Um, it's in good shape. The guy we got it off of said the internals are good, but uh, my brother was just going to have it uh, rebuilt to probably like a stage one setup. So, um, I think that's all. Um, nothing new to report on the Dodge. Just, uh, just been sitting. My brother's been slowly ordering parts. He's got... I think he's got turbos on the way for it now, and uh, I think this is for my buddy's uh, Jason's truck because we just did a EGT sensor on it. Um, head for the Commons is over there. My brother's just gonna order a new performance head that's been already got new valve, got the bigger valves and what the hell? No, the titanium valves, O-rings, guides, all that stuff, and uh, the valve springs and all that stuff to uh, make this thing go fast. Um, so he's got turbos coming for it. He'll order, he's gonna order the head hopefully soon. Um, and that's pretty much it. Oh, uh, things he needs for it is inject, I think the only thing he really needs for the engine, now that he's got turbos and a head coming for it soon, hopefully, is a set of injectors. And, uh, the dual CP3 injection pump kit. And uh, the rest will probably just be cosmetic, like getting some tires and a fender and a grill and headlights. But that's up to him. And uh, I don't know if you guys remember the uh, 85 Crew Cab Cummins Dually 5-speed. Um, I wish I could show it right now, but it's not here. It's at the other location. Um, the injection pump actually just went out in it. So we're looking for a new VE, brand new. Not used, not nothing, just brand new VE injection pump. And I'll be good to go. Which I'm assuming why it would lope whenever you would get like super hot or tow a lot of weight with it and stuff. So, and I'm still looking for another 5 bolt hub for this. I haven't really tried to get the ones off the uh, parts custom out back. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I think I'm just going to go ahead and call it a video. I'm tired and uh, gonna go eat some uh I'm gonna go eat some dinner and just take it easy for the night so since it was 70 degrees out actually it's about 74 degrees out right now and I figured I'd go come out here and make a video while I still could since the winter's coming you guys uh, aren't gonna see much more from me probably it's pretty much the rest of the leaves we got on the trees it's just an absolutely beautiful day out though just closed down the pool today, about an hour ago, if that. Um, that's, I don't know about you guys, but that's a good picture right there. So, all right guys, well, I'm gonna go ahead and conclude this video here and uh, I hope you guys have a, I hope you guys are having a good week. Hope you guys have a great weekend and uh, I'll talk to y'all later. See ya.